So we came up to Columbus to talk about CNC routing with the Axiom Tool Group and, and Todd here, but we got distracted by this beautiful boat that's sitting in their warehouse. We've got to learn more about this boat. Hey, Andrew, I'm glad you like it. This is a unique boat. This is, uh, this is actually a project that I've been working on uh, for a number of years. I have uh, several passions in my life, but uh, two of the big ones are uh, building wooden boats and, uh, and going fast. And this boat really sums it all up in, in one project. It looks fast just, just sitting here. Yeah, actually, thank you. This is, a, this is a 1939, a reproduction of a 1939 boat that was called the Zephyr. It was uh, designed by a gentleman by the name of Adolf Appel. It's powered by a flathead Ford V8. It's a stepped hull hydro, really cutting edge for the late 1930s. And uh, it's a very challenging design. So there's a lot that goes into the build of this. I've got about four years worth of my life wrapped up in this project. And I can only hope that I live long enough to actually uh, see it in the water. Um, as we talk about CNC routing over the course of the next couple of days, this really sums up um, our desire and our passion to be in this industry. But I'm hoping that by the time you leave here, you have a better understanding and your viewers have a better understanding of the immense opportunity that we all have to do things way outside of the scope of just simple projects. A wooden boat lends itself to CNC routing very, very well. It's symmetrical, so there are mirrored parts right and left. Mm -hmm. um, very few straight lines. A table saw will do sure. a great job of cutting a perfectly straight line. But anytime you throw curves into the equation, aside from a jigsaw or a bandsaw, which is not repeatable and frankly, it's not very accurate, it surely is not uh, productive at all. Mm -hmm. uh, CNC routing lends itself to the unique radius lines of a boat uh, very highly. So uh, as you wander around on this boat, you'll notice that all of the forms have been CNC routed. The steering wheel has been built on an Axiom CNC router. The ornamentation on the center console was all routed on our Axiom CNC. Uh, as is the Windsor settee style uh, seat. Um, That's beautiful. Yeah, thanks. Wow. A lot of neat applications here that uh, e even the most seasoned and talented woodworkers and, and craftsmen would struggle to build, especially when you need to build a right and a left that sure. match. Sure, sure. Um, again, CNC technology fits this application and many, many others really, really well. And I think that's really what I'm, I'm most excited about is the, the possibility of, of CNC routing. Well, I'm hoping by the time you leave here, we can do several things. We're gonna talk about how we have engineered what I believe is truly a world-class CNC router. I wanna show you why we do what we do, how we control our machine. We're gonna talk about software integration and the education process and the use of that software. Uh, and just make sure that you and your viewers uh, have a much better understanding of not only what it can do, but how it does it and how you select the right machine for your budget and your specific application. That sounds great. I'm, I'm very excited. All right. We've talked about uh, kind of breadth of materials, but if you want to see something really exciting and you like this, uh, I want to show you one other project uh, that we here at Axiom uh, have undertaken. It is, uh, it is literally world record breaking technology and uh, I think you get a kick out of seeing this. I can't wait. Andrew, I think you're gonna like this. What do we have going on here, Todd? This is actually the belly tank from a 1957 Canadian T-33 fighter jet that has been painstakingly converted to a flathead Ford V8 powered land speed race car. The car, uh, the engine has about 245 horsepower. The car as it sits should be capable of about 205 miles an hour, which is more than enough to break the standing land speed record. So next August, 2019, the Axiom team and I are gonna go see if we can make a little history in Wendover, Utah at the fastest <laughs> place on earth. It's incredible, but, but why is it here? Well, it's not here simply because of my uh, unhealthy need for speed. It actually is a shining example of uh, a project that can be built utilizing small format CNC routing. Every component on this machine, aside from the engine and the tubular steel uh, chassis, is aluminum or polycarbonate. So all of the components that have been hand shaped and formed can be cut on a CNC router using the appropriate tooling. 
I got to see how this all works. Come on in. I'll show you the machines.